galaxy, and more. Don't miss a single moment of epic action and non-stop excitement. It's the ultimate family experience. Marvel Universe Live. See it live at Eagle Bank Arena now through March 31st. For tickets and show details, visit MarvelUniverseLive.com. Get your tickets today. Right now at 11, the tanker toppling on the Beltway, creating a commuter catastrophe for the ages. Oh, boy. So you literally got out of your Uber and you're walking. Yeah, I had him pull over. ABC7 literally walking on the Beltway. We're going to show you just how far people were willing to go just to get themselves home. And 7 on your side with an update on the hazmat response, the race to contain the leaking fluid before reaching the Potomac below, and now efforts to drain the remaining gasoline. And only on 7 and now, former employee of the mayor's office accused in a child porn case. ABC7 with exclusive information and the timeline of events before his dismissal. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. And watch your screen right there on the left side. Watch carefully. You see that? That tanker that went over? That was the beginning of the end for traffic today. This is the American Legion Bridge on the Beltway, mm. 2 o'clock this afternoon, and it is still causing a nightmare. Can you believe it is still there? Ugh. Tonight, commuters stranded for hours, hopeless on the way home. We're also learning more about what spilled from that tanker. We want to begin with ABC 7's Jay Korf, who again spent a day walking out on Virginia Interstate to talk to commuters, and he was safe walking out there, Jay. Indeed, and right now there is a safety issue as the delicate process behind me is going on. Fairfax County Fire and Rescue experts along with consultants and environmental officials are carefully offloading all that fuel on the overturned tanker into another tanker. The beltway, the inner loop remains closed. This has been quite a mess of a day. The drive home is difficult on a normal night in the D.C. region, but what unfolded Thursday evening... I've never seen it like this before. ...may go down as one of the worst commutes in recent memory. So you literally got out of your Uber and you're walking. Yeah, I had him pull over. 50 feet out of our ABC 7 News studios in Arlington and traffic was already ridiculous due to an overturned tanker miles away on the Beltway. We made our way onto GW Parkway and found drivers like Ronald Castro parked at an overlook. Just pull over the side because I can't go home. He's trying to get to Silver Spring. I tried to go through Georgetown and see, but I saw another heavy drive over there. And I said, I'm going to wait a couple hours at least. This is what was in his way. A tanker overturned on 495 northbound right before the American Legion Bridge at 2 p.m. Traffic backed up for miles. Drivers like James Powell stuck for hours. It's rush hour, and that's a bridge, and this is going to take a long time, and what a mess it's going to be. And I just feel sorry for all the side streets and byways and the, the alternate routes that are probably got really clogged up real badly. What you're seeing is a coordinated incident between D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Fairfax County, the state of Virginia. Multiple agencies moved quickly to close ramps, move out backed up interstate traffic so this tanker could come in, offload the overturned tanker's fuel, and get the road back open eventually. This is going to take multiple hours to be able to clear and just don't assume that you're going to take this bridge anytime soon, especially not tonight. And the hope is that this road will be open for the AM rush. We'll certainly give you updates as the situation develops. Amazingly, no injuries due to this crash, which remains under investigation. Live on the Beltway, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right, Jay, thanks for that. I want to show you some video. This was 3 o'clock this afternoon, and it shows firefighters scrambling to work on that overturned truck. And that's because gas was leaking from it, up to 200 gallons, which is just a fraction of the thousands of gallons on board. Hazmat crews tell 7 on your side that it was quickly contained, the 200 gallons, and they do believe that nothing spilled into the Potomac River below. And, you know, moments ago we referenced Jay Korf again walking on an interstate that's because this was his view January 20th 2016 eerily similar but with ice <laughs> gridlocking I-66 at that time that small storm catching the DMV off guard just days before the monster blizzard complete gridlock very similar to what we saw out there today Wow. well a recent major study out of Texas and Texas A&M